See, I recently said that white people like animals more than black people. It was a joke. I meant what I said, but it was a joke. I think it's better that white people take all control of the animal population because black people, especially black guys from the hood, just ignorant niggas don't know how to treat animals, especially puppies. Because you know black men ain't studying no cats unless it's attached to a woman's leg. But other than that, they don't really care about no cat. But they can't, they don't know how to talk to puppies neither, man. All puppies go to heaven. All dogs go to heaven. Leave them alone, let them down. They don't have peace instead of you trying to torture them and stuff. I got one guy who actually cooked the puppy. He killed it, cut his head off, threw it in the trash can, cooked it, and ate it. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you this guy. Walked into the pet store, had a girl with him and a child, took the puppy down his pants, walked away, stole it, did it twice. Should he get caught and go to jail? Part of me is rude for him. Maybe it was desperation. But it's still wrong, man. Just pay for the puppy. So I'm going to show you this rationing. This is why they give Mega Vic such a hard time. Because of guys like you. effing it up. Watch the clip. I'm going to come back. That man, he's holding a puppy in his hand, then stuffs it into a shirt. He does this not once, but twice at a local pet shop. And we just got our hands on that entire surveillance video. Good evening. I'm Shelly Munez in for Eric. Thanks for joining us tonight. This happened just hours ago at the puppy spot on the 2500 block of East Colonial. That's close to the Orlando Fashion Square Mall. It's a story you'll see only on six. Kristen Giannis is live inside the pet shop right now. And Kristen, oh, they're adorable. You saw the video and you're with the owners right now. What have they told you? Well, these are the siblings of the two uh, dogs that were stolen tonight. There's a pug here and a mini dachshund. Now, the man who grabbed these dogs, he grabbed them right out of their cribs and shoved them in his pants. And it was all caught on one of the 14 surveillance cameras that are in the store. Take a look at this guy. He grabs an $800 pug from its crib and then shoves the dog down his pants. He then walks outside, puts the dog in his car, comes back in, and does the same thing here, this time shoving a $750 dachshund in his pants. Eddie Rosario says the thief walked in with what looked like a decent family. You got any questions? And they say no. They're just looking at dogs. He says the thief was with this man, this woman, and a toddler. They used the kid to steal the dog. I mean, you come in here to steal a dog with a kid, that's insane. Now, another surveillance camera outside the store uh, captured the car that this guy went inside. It looked like it was a darker colored Crown Victoria, and it had some damage to the front end. Shelly? That owner, it's hard to believe that there was a child inside with at the time with this family here and that video is pretty crystal clear what are they doing to find these guys well they passed on the video to the police and they took a report and also the owner of this store is offering a 250 dollar reward to anyone who has information as to who this guy is Shelly. All right, Chris and Jonas reporting for us. Thanks a lot. If you recognize that guy or anybody in that family from that video, call police. All right, you watched it. That, there it is. The guy who stole some puppies. Stole some puppies. Now, you think that was bad. Remember when I was just telling you I got a guy who ate puppies? He black. He's a black guy. An African-American man. Not no Chinese person. Not know anything. You know they say Chinese... You know that time it was a conspiracy when they say cats and dogs was found in Chinese restaurants and stuff, all that other stuff, I don't, you know. Granted, I'm a picky eater. I don't enjoy it. I tell my mother all the time. She just don't understand it. She be like, I eat all the same food, too. She need to stop eating all the same food. We need to eat a variety of food and work out and be healthy. So I'm going to show you this clip by the guy who ate the puppy. Gail, accused of killing and eating part of the family dog. Officers arrested Thomas Elliott Huggins this morning. When they arrived, his pet's ribs were cooking on the stove. News Channel East Natalie Shepard joins us now live in Tampa to explain how all of this happened. Probably not the best story around dinner time, but here we are. So yeah. share it. This is one of those that just, you can't understand it, Keith. Huggins' mother and sister, they both do say that they have noticed odd behavior from him in the past. And when his mother got home last night, she found that pot of the dog's ribs cooking on the stove. And he told his mom he strangled the dog with his bare hands and then butchered it with a steak knife. 
Oh, she would be so excited. This home video shot by Nicloa Davis shows Bandit, a black and white puppy, happily trying to play with her dog, Smoke. It was the cutest dog. It was the cutest little dog. It makes what happened to Bandit almost incomprehensible. I don't know. I'm crazy. Obviously, you have to be something is wrong inside. Tampa police found the six-month-old dog's dismembered body inside this home on Astor Avenue North. Police arrested Thomas Elliott Huggins for strangling and butchering the dog. It's like almost hurting a, a baby. To me, that was still a... I'm sorry. The news hit John Pisacani especially hard. His dog, Coco, is Bandit's mother. He gave Huggins the dog back in February. Uh, I feel sick in my stomach right now. That's, I didn't know that that's, that's what he was going to do with it. Police say what happened is gruesome. They say Huggins quartered the dog after it died and cooked a pot of its ribs. Police found Bandit's head in the trash can. I'm totally shocked. Davis says Bandit wasn't malnourished, but the dog wasn't always well taken care of. I know the dog was always outside with no water, no nothing. As to why Huggins may have eaten the dog, Davis says it's not because he was hungry. I've been to the food pantry and the mother, I've seen her at the food pantry, so I know they didn't have to do that for food. I know that. The Tampa police arrested Huggins for the inhumane and cruel killing of an animal, which is a felony. Animal control took possession of the dog's remains, and police say Huggins did admit to doing this, Keith, and he said that he's done it before with squirrels and rabbits and didn't see anything wrong with it. Mm. You watched it. Both of these people are crazy. Two black guys who can't get along with a dog. When I get the money in the family, I'm going to adopt the dog. As soon as I get a little boy or a little girl... I'm going to make sure I give them some pets to play with. I ain't play with no pets, but I'm not an animal lover, man. I had a dog for like two weeks and he was stolen. I didn't, I didn't really care. Dog name was Promise. I'm, but I'm not an animal lover, so that, you know, I don't care about things like that. Do unto others what you have them do unto you, man. Some people love them animals like children. You know, me, personally, I question... I question it all their existence on earth. Just to be honest with you. I question it all. But hey God, your will be done. Uh my chest just hurt. I said when I said that. I'm just joking. I don't want all the animals to die. Yeah, man. Remember this though. All dogs go to heaven. All cats go to hell. And I am afraid of cats. You know my deep dark secret. Thumbs up if you're afraid of cats. I'm I'm telling you my vulnerabilities. So I'm sharing my story so you can overcome with your own testimony. Be nice to animals and be nice to babies. What's wrong with these dudes? They just take anything. And so they're going to be stealing chickens. You heard about those guys who stole chicken wings? And so they're going to be stealing real chickens. But that would have made more sense. You could, Like you cook the chicken but you don't go cook no puppy. Come on man. So there you go, man. September 2013 when I made these videos. Jamarcus Noon back. Go hug your puppy. God bless. Go in peace. Plan imagination for life. Comment, like, subscribe. Go hug your kids first, then hug your puppy. Comment, like, subscribe. God bless. Go in peace. Plan imagination. All dogs go to heaven, all cats go to hell. I don't make too many commentary videos no more. I don't like to judge people. New videos coming out soon. Believe in what you want to be. Go watch my ASU poetry reading. Okay, I'm done. Believe in what you want to be.